and welcome back to our channel and to another edition of the Catholic Cookbook Challenge, where we try a new to us recipe from a different Catholic cookbook every month. So this has been a fun and tasty challenge for us every month. And we're definitely hoping that today's recipes are going to turn out just as well as the others have. And our feature cookbook today is Bumping Into God in the Kitchen by Father Dominic Grassi. And our featured recipe is my own Italian stuff pork chops, which looks to be a very easy to make recipe and a very delicious to eat recipe. And we're also going to be trying this chocolate trifle recipe, which we just found on all recipes. It'll be linked in the description box down below. But we're right at the start of the Easter season when we're filming this, and nothing says Christ is risen quite like chocolate. That is true. I have a feeling that Jesus is definitely a chocolate lover. So we mentioned in our latest video about celebrating the Easter season for all 50 days that one of the ideas is to have an octave or eight days of special food or treats in honor of the first eight days of the Easter season, which is the octave of Easter, which we are in right now. And this recipe is definitely going to check off one of those special treat boxes for us and it looks like a splurge-worthy Easter dessert. But without any further ado, let's go ahead now and move into the cooking. So we're going to get started with the pork chops first because we do make a lot of meal train meals here, you know, meals for families that maybe had a new baby or maybe they have a sick family member. So this one looks really easy and delicious, so we're hoping we can add it to our meal train recipe list. And Father Grassi does say up front in his book that he likes the quick and easy recipes, and so that's a nice upfront bonus. And this recipe is very quick and easy. It has a lot of the just basic ingredients that you'd already have around the house. We had almost all of them. We only had to buy the pork chops. Um, but what you need for this recipe is obviously the pork chops, um, olive oil, stuffing mix, chicken broth, then Italian seasonings like oregano and basil or a mix would work as well, then minced garlic, salt and pepper, and lemon juice. So the first thing we need to do for this recipe is to make the stuffing. But before we do that, I just wanted to say how much we're enjoying reading this book. Father Grassi is a retired priest from Chicago. So along with the 16 different recipes in the book, you also get a lot of his stories and reflections. He's pretty funny and he's a very gifted storyteller. And as a little random side note, he has also actually written a murder mystery called Death in Chicago, which is interesting and we might have to track down a copy sometime. I am definitely looking into that. We're starting with the stuffing and mixing the butter into the chicken broth and bringing it to a boil. Then adding the stuffing mix, garlic, and Italian seasoning, mixing it all up, and then we just set it aside until we need it. Then we cut the pork, which was honestly the hardest part. And of course, Bishop Beagle is here and he is stalking us while we're doing our cooking. Then we put the stuffing into the pork chops. There was plenty of stuffing for all of them. And then brushed it with olive oil and put on salt and pepper. And then just baked them until they were done. Now it's time to make the trifle. And I'm really happy to tell you that because we're in the octave of Easter, this has no calories, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how Easter works. That's how Easter works. A special bonus of Easter. You're welcome. So this recipe does look very quick and easy to make, but I do want to give you a heads up. It needs to chill for eight hours before you serve it. So take that into account if you decide to try it out. And the ingredients you need for this one is milk, sweetened condensed milk, brownie mix, a chocolate bar, some instant pudding, and then Cool Whip or whipped topping as we have. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. What's not to love about this recipe? So we started first by just making the brownies according to the instructions that were listed on the back of the box. 
and we baked them and then had to let them cool completely, so keep that in mind if you make this. And then when they were cool, we cut them into one inch squares, and we have my fine knife handling skills here. Then we mixed up part of the filling, so that is mixing the pudding mix, the water, and the sweetened condensed milk together, and you want to stir that so it's completely smooth. And then we folded in some of the whipped cream. Then we started our layering in the bowl, and we did the brownies first, and then we did a layer of the chocolate cream, and you will need a big bowl for this, and then we did a layer of the whipped cream. And Bishop Beagle's back again, he's been in and out the whole time. And then we did a second layer using up all the ingredients and then just did one final layer of whipped cream on the top. And then we did the layer of chocolate, just grinding up the chocolate bar. All right, so it's done, and this is one gigantic chocolate trifle. Oh my goodness. What, how are we gonna eat all this up, Kate? Um, I, I have no idea. I think we're going to have my son invite several of his teenage boyfriends over because this is a lot of that's, dessert. That's a lot for that's four lot. people. We're going to put this in the fridge now and let it chill for several hours, but the pork chops are done, so we are mm. going to taste test those. Finally, they smell really good. Oh my here. gosh, they smell oh so good. Okay, here we go. All right, so here are the pork chops. This is just what they look like when they came out of the oven. These do look almost professional. <laughs> they look so good. Not quite professional. Well, yeah, as professional as we can get, but I cannot wait to test taste them. So let's go. All right, here we go. We are going to we just split one because it's like it's two o'clock. Two o'clock. So <laughs> it's not time for dinner, but. Mm -hmm. That is very good, yes. It will definitely be a popular item with our boys tonight. Anything with stovetop stuffing is yeah. a go at our house. Pretty basically. much. Yeah. yeah. So here is the finished product ready to taste. We did help it along a little bit by putting it in the freezer or two. Yeah to get around that eight hour yeah. chill time. Otherwise we would be here all day, like in our last cooking video, when we were yeah. cooking for four hours. Yeah. We didn't want that again. That was for St. Joseph's Day. So anyway, we're gonna see how this is. It looks delicious. It's a good thing it has no calories mm -hmm. because otherwise we would be in serious trouble, but it's fine, it's Easter. <laughs> That's good. Mm. That is seriously good. Everybody needs to make this. We're just saying, make this and everyone will love you. Yeah. And it makes a lot. It does, it, it makes a lot. lot. Next time you have to go to a party or a potluck, you just walk in with this and you are set for life. This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> the brownies. Oh my gosh. The boys are gonna be happy tonight when they come home and see this. All right, so there you have it, our two recipes, stuffed pork chops and chocolate trifle, both winners. So I have a feeling that the pork chops are going to be coming back for a couple more rounds in the future. They were very good, um, easy to make, and would probably be good for meal trains like we were talking about. Yeah. I think the hardest thing was just cutting them in half to make the butterfly part, but you could probably just buy thin pork chops and just stick them on top of each other. I don't know, I'm not a professional <laughs> chef. There might be some chefs out there dying because I said that. But we did like both recipes, and there are some lucky teenage boys who are having chocolate trifle for dessert tonight. And also let us know down in the comments if you ever end up making either one of these recipes. We'd love to hear how it goes for you. So we hope you enjoyed today's cooking challenge video. Um, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.